Brother trying to share some good news with you knuckleheads. Sorry, Gary. What's up? I used to be a guppy in swim class, and I passed the test, and now I'm a goldfish. That's great, man. Romeo, look. Yeah, that's tight. Holla back when you're well, youngin. <laughs> hey, Dad, peep this. Maury Lamar is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. Maury Lamar, it's about time, son. That man is legendary. He produced records for all the greats. Even helped me out when I first got started. You know Mari Lamari? For about 15 years now, son. Do you think you could help me? Don't even try it. But, Dad, you don't, don't know what know I'm going to ask. ask. Dad, Dad, it's not, not fair. fair. Okay. Okay. Cool. cool. I'm going to do, do it, it on, on my own. own. All right, superstar, do it on your own. I got to find a way to get into this award ceremony. Why? So I can give Mari Lamari our demo CD. He could make me a star. You? I mean, us, whenever I say me. Right. Maybe my swim coach can get us in. Her name's Lamari, too. <laughs> say what? <laughs> Mary Lamari. She has to be related to Mari Lamari. I mean, how many Lamaris can there be? Gary, my boy, my dog. Tell me all about this swim coach of yours. How's it coming? Good as new. Thanks, Lewis. Oh. Hi, Miss Rogers. I'm here now. I'll be back in three days. Whoa, you might want to get a makeover while I'm gone. The food processor exploded. Kaput! It's finished! It went to the big kitchen appliance store in the sky. Don't trip. We could get another one, okay? Oh, um, do you think maybe you could hire a chef, you know, that I could, um, hang out with and talk to? I thought you liked talking and hanging out with Buddy. Oh, of course I do, but, um, you know, all he talks about is, like, burying bones and sniffing butts. I mean, what do I know about that? I don't want to know. You just take the household credit card I gave you. 
and buy a new food processor and whatever else we need around there. Okay, whatever we need? Sure. I question your style, but I trust your judgment. I got to say goodbye to the kids. I see you. Thank you. Don't blow nothing else up while I'm gone. Okay. <laughs> left messages, sent emails, and still no response. When I ran up on her with our press kit, she won't even take it. She just got in her car and took off. She's probably tired of people using her to get to her uncle all the time. Yeah, well, she don't know the row. I've got a plan B. That's grade A. Seattle Junior Swim Team tryouts. Hey, they're today. That's right. We'll pretend we're here to try out and I'll make a big impression on Coach Lamar. Once I got the coach under my spell, she'll be begging to give our demo CD to her uncle. Okay, but since we're here, why don't we just try out for the team? Because, because of chlorine in the pool, it'll mess up my hair. Right. Let's get back to the plan. See, you'll be my assistant and... If you guys want to try out, you'd better get in the water. <laughs> so funny. Asking me to try is like asking Shat to prove he's tall. Oh, really? But of course, Ma, I'm not like these bump heads. I already won many, many swimming medals. And I'm a big rap star in me country. And what country is that? Jamaica. Kia Mott. I remake up. That's me home. I'm the dancehall keener. Well, um, sorry, what's your name? Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Oh, Riley. That's me name. Yes, Naya. Well, um, if you want to try out for the swim team, Mr. Marley, you need to get in the water. Now. Kia Mott. But, um, first, let me reassist and check the water temperature. How am I supposed to do that? Like that, Mon. You are never to push anyone in the water ever. Sorry, Mon. How's the water? Too cold for me? No, Bob Marley O'Reilly. It's perfect, just the way you like it. What about the pH balance? <laughs> the wrong pH balance could affect me throat and me rapping. How do I test the pH? I don't taste any age. <laughs> well then, everything seems I dream on. Hop in. Hey, Jody! Hey, Gary! Romeo! Louis! Come in here, look at this! We got a new food processor! Oh, yeah. Nobody's home. <laughs> Buddy! Let's see what else we can buy. Maybe that 29 Easy Payment guy is back on TV. <laughs> exactly 63 strokes from one end to the other. Just like last time. And the time before that. Okay, enough. Either you swim now or you'll have to leave. But Ma, I can't waste any more time. Dive in or head out. Uh, uh, I can't swim. You're afraid of the water, right? No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I knew it all along. <laughs> All this just to get to my uncle. 
I'm impressed. Cool. So are you going to give them our demo? Sure. Yes, on one condition. You mean something awful I really don't want to do. You take swimming lessons with me and earn your goldfish certificate. Then I'll pass your demo on to my uncle. Okay. If my little brother can be a goldfish, I can be a goldfish too. Good. Cool. Yes! Hey, you. Me? Yeah. I'm thoroughly impressed with all the swimming you just did. You got the stamina needed to be on the team, if you're interested. Yes! Yeah, I'm on the team! Big Papa's home! in this house. Mrs. Rogers, what is all this junk in here? Junk? This is all stuff we need. You said you trusted my judgment, so I bought it from the Charge at Home channel. So how much this stuff gonna cost? Only 29 easy credit card payments. Call now, call now, call now. The man on TV promised that the collectibles are gonna double in value in the next 50 years, so we'll end up making more money than we spend. And like, when we're in our 80s, when we'll probably, you know, really need the extra cash. Oh, that's my smoked ham matic Smoked pork loin coming right up. <sighs> smoked ham matic did you understand a word she said? Not exactly. You see, she's suffering from a classic obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, obsessive compulsive, right. I've been studying it in my psych class. <laughs> Psychology 101. It's fascinating. So, what do they have to do with all this junk in my house? Dad, relax. I can break Mrs. Rogers of her compulsive cycle of uncontrolled spending and get her life back on track. Listen. Don't worry, Dad. I'll send all the stuff back and return Mrs. Rogers to her senses. How you gonna return her to a place she never been? Okay, Romeo and Three, I want you to stand up, all right? One, two, three. <laughs> I can't do it. I try, but I can't. Yes, you can, Romeo. You can do anything you wanna do. Okay, I wanna quit. I thought you was helping Mrs. Rogers. Dad, psychology is a very delicate subject. It takes time. Well, Dr. Miller, a truck just delivered a seven-foot hula bear. Uh-oh. This is going to call for drastic measures. Lewis, how's swimming going? Great, Dad. I'll tell you all about it once I see the hula bear. I want to see it, too. OK. Ro, how's your swimming going? Everything's fine, Dad. Since I gave up on swimming. Huh? I'm afraid of the water. You're afraid of the water? Remember when you was afraid to sleep in the dark? You got over that, son. Yeah. You spent the night with me and made me feel safe. Maybe if you come in the water with me, I'll feel safe, too. That's a great idea. What idea? Ain't nobody got any ideas up in here. I can't believe it. You're afraid of the water, too? Yeah. My dad threw me in his lake when I was little. I guess he wanted to see if I was going to sink or swim. I sunk. I still could feel the water in my nose now. I know what you mean. That's why I quit. I guess we're both too scaredy catfish on that. For now. But you know what? We're going to conquer our fear together. 
by taking swimming lessons. But dad. Oh, but dad, what kind of father would I be if I let my son use my fear for an excuse? A dry one? Suit up, my boy. Prepare to go swimming and prepare to grow thin. <laughs> shopping to replace the things that are missing in your life. What's she missing? She has us. Gary, please. Now, think about what you've been missing lately. Well, well, I miss my husband every time I see a milk carton. Because he went out to buy milk when he ran away from me? He didn't run away from me. He got lost. Yeah, okay. Let's move on. What else do you miss? Well, I really miss going to the aquarium and laughing at fish. <laughs> they make the funniest faces. <laughs> and, well, when you guys are having fun and singing on family night, I really miss that. Your family did that too? Oh, yeah. My 17 brothers and sisters would all take turns leading the family fun activities, and, and I was in charge of the sing-along with my ukulele. I just wish I could sit down and write them a letter. Why don't you? I can't. I mean, they live in trailers down on the bayou, right in the heart of the flood zone, and every time it rains, floosh, they float away. I mean, their address changes so much. I mean, who can keep track? Mrs. Rogers, stop. Please. It's obvious. You miss your family. Yeah. We could be your family. You don't have to miss us, because we're in the same house. Gary, I'm in a session. As I was saying, that's why you've been compulsively buying things, to fill a void. You know, I think you're right. I mean, just talking about them makes me feel better. <sighs> well, I guess my shopaholic days are over. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Rogers, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hand over your credit card. <laughs> Let's go to the aquarium. Suddenly I've got a, an urge to laugh at fish again. You are both certified goldfish. <laughs> and is my certified go CD. Oh, well, I will give it to my uncle first thing Monday morning. Thanks, coach. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Hey, what can I say? I knew I could make swimmers out of you two. Yeah, ma. Swimming is our reef. Oh, well, hang loose there, Bob, Marley, <laughs> oh, yeah. Riley, ma. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. 
Legendary producer Mari Lamari retires. How he's gonna produce my million son CD if he's retired? Me and Dad learned how to swim for nothing. Hmm. It wasn't for nothing. Swimming is a very important skill. And you got over your fear. And, and you should be really proud of yourself no matter what happens to Mari Lamari. I'll get it. And you know you should keep practicing. Maybe you'll end up on the team with Lewis. Did somebody order a pool? It wasn't me, it wasn't me. I thought I cured you, Mrs. Rogers, but there are obviously issues bubbling deep beneath the surface of your head. It wasn't me, <laughs> tell her, buddy, it wasn't me. Well, the foreman at the door said someone ordered a pool and Didn't. Did you? What? Don't what me, boy. Did you order that pool? Well, Mrs. Rogers said I should keep swimming. And by next year, I could be captain of the swimming team. Uh-uh. Because you're not going to live that long when Dad finds out. Hey! Stop! I'll change my mind! through this song before I'm 40? Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody, Mrs. Rogers is a part of our family and we love her. And so she's entitled to join in the jam. Say what? What do you say, Dad? Does Mrs. Rogers jam with us or do you want her to start spinning again? Play that funky music, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, we family. <laughs>